what's the feeling at the White House? <laughs> I think they were, let me tell you, I've been on the phone and texting and, and talking to a lot of my friends there, not the president himself, but just about all his, you know, the, the senior advisors to him and, and, and whatnot in his communications department. There was, they, they, they really were kind of holding back a little bit and, and just watching the events unfold on, on TV and in the media. And I, I found it very interesting that they didn't jump immediately. They spent a couple of days trying to figure out the reaction. Maybe they were waiting for, uh, for AG Barr's assessment of what was going mm-hmm. on. But, you know, there was an, an anxiety. They're ready to go, and they're ready to just basically tell the world that this has been what we've been saying for the better part of two years, and, and finally they're vindicated. They feel good. They're very confident. They feel very, very good. This is a, this is a win for the president. This is a win for the administration. This will be the 2020 uh, you know, motto, you know, they, they try, they try, they, you know what, Glenn, I, I tweeted this morning, I tweeted and it, you know, I, I held off to the whole weekend also. Um, I tweeted this morning, it's my first tweet since Friday. And it was this, it was since the New York times and the Washington post each received a Pulitzer prize for their reportage on Trump and Russian collusion. And now we know that was all fake news. Do I get uh, nominated as a potential Pulitzer Prize winner for taking the other side of that argument for the last two years. And so I just find it very, very interesting. I watch a lot of cable and the, the breathless um, change in the tone, like all of a sudden Mueller, who was the best investigator the world had ever seen is now, well, he left a lot of holes. He left a lot of opportunity. He left a lot of opportunity for states uh, to pick up where he left off. So well, we see, we've seen this. There's the, this is really nothing new, is it, Eric? I mean, this is what they did with Covington. They said, look at this kid. Look at this kid. Look what's happening. And then when that turned out not to be true, they said, well, they, those kids are they're guilty of something. I mean, look at these old pictures from 20 years ago that don't have anything to do with these kids. I mean, they, right. they will go and they'll give it a day where they say, okay, all right, well, it must have been wrong. And then the less reason, the less reasoned heads will gather around, and they'll say, "Yeah, but he's guilty of something else." Yeah. Well, the, yeah, and, and there's no uh, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. They're just grasping. I, I just find it very odd that the day after this the the, the report is released, that the left is start saying, um, "Oh boy, can you believe this wall to wall coverage on this thing?" When meanwhile, for the last two years, that's what they did every single hour on MSNBC and. Yes. and, and CNN had led with, with, you know, literally almost every single hour of the last two years, all day long on each of the networks mm-hmm. with something Trump and, and Russian collusion related. Now they're saying, well, you know. Well, they've trained their, they've trained their, their audience, uh, you know, like Pavlov dog. They've, they've trained their audience. You come here and we're going to feed you this food. And now that there is no food left in the bowl, uh, they don't know what to feed their audience because their audience is used to this. They're, they're trying to feed them that, oh, it's not over. <laughs> you know, it's not a Trump win, but it is. I mean, at least uh, some of the at Washington Post, for example, said no collusion they, on their headline. Finally, they're they're going to they're going to be honest with their readers and say, look, you know, we, we wasted our time for two years. Yeah. I'll never forget. I was on Fox quickly the day they announced they, the day they announced that they were going to go ahead and, 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 and hire Mueller to come on. I said, this is going to be a massive waste of time and money, and here we are two years later.